Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience, in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert whom Conroy has raised like a son. Mm. Well, not like his own son, of course. Huh? it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the Basilian's oh, turn uh, is a stone, uh, it's your own uh, fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> Oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? <laughs> No! <laughs> no! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. Oh. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. Oh, uh... I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That thieving pigeon.
kid, where did you get that from? Alcohol's against the law. Oh, I didn't know that. No, seriously, where did you get that bottle from? It's easier to get cyanide than that stuff. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposha. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few Asporororo, it's yours. Asporororo? Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed. Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. The bag is tied up with string. The bag is tied up with string. I'll untie the knot. Hey, it's empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Well, the bag's a bit... Watch it, pal. I mean, that practical string is exactly what I wanted. Great! My own windsock. Windsocks are awesome.
Well, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. Smells disgusting. Hi, worm. You look thirsty. Party's over. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. Shoot at first. Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But didn't work out. If I tie the end of the windsock with thread... I'll have a great net. You can't escape. Hey! <clears throat> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on the winds are about to change. Ha! It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. seen you here before I'm new in town please who comes here voluntarily 
Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the bazillions. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold... ...or the hunger... ...or the despair. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you, you're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas, made from strawberry yarn, for my baby to wear. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric. The fabric of nobles. The baby insists on it. Oh, yes. Of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from strawberry yarn. Well, then. Goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. Hello? Guard number 822 reporting for duty. Oh, it's just me, Robert. I wanted to ask you something. I hope it's important, because I'm about to have breakfast. What are you doing here? I'm on guard. <laughs> I see. What are you guarding? What am I guarding? What a question. Of course I'm guarding uh, this small house here. And uh, uh, the prisoners down there. And uh, the fountain, of course. I'm a fountain guard as well. What are you protecting the fountain from? 
It's a personal order from Conroy. I have to guard the fountain. Yes, you just said that. Um, protect it from what? <laughs> I guard the fountain. By the way, falling into the fountain is prohibited. Uh, has anyone fallen into it before? I can't imagine that. Have a good day. I will. May the Bazillions be with you. Thank you. And with you as well. Tell me your sin. What should I confess? Confess your sins. But I didn't do anything wrong. Tell me your sin. You're not listening to me. Sacrifice a man to the Basilians. I guess I'll be going. Tell me your sin. No, I really wanted to. Tell me your sin. I'll just go now. Tell me your sin. It's too fresh. Tell me your sin. But I didn't do anything. Sacrifice a mint to the Basilians. I guess I'll be go. Tell me your sin. No, I really wanted to. Tell me your sin. I'll just go now. Tell me your sin. I'll wrap the fish in paper. I'll leave him alone to whatever he's doing.
Come on, come on. Oh, damn. Hello. Wow, you're Malleus, the wind monk of the valleys. Now. What the? Brazilians, are you there? No, I'm afraid not. It's only me, Robert. I'm so glad to meet you personally. Okay. Is there a reason why you're disturbing me? What are you doing? I'm, uh, meditating. Looks like a lot of fun. Fun? If this was fun, it wouldn't have anything to do with religion. But what? I'm, uh, looking for inspiration. From a slot machine? Well, yes. Yes, well, until the inspiration finds me. It can't hurt to use the time practically. Right. That makes sense. Somehow. Good. I I'll go now. One moment, one moment, only one more game. Hello? He's smiling in his sleep. Hmm. He seems to be happy. Sweetheart, he's wasted. Oh. Hey there, little guy. Can I pet you? He seems to be busy. Hello. Are you the head of this... establishment? I have no idea, sweetie. But I'm the owner of this bar. How about a jaw shatterer? A what? It's a liqueur. The specialty of the house. Thanks, but... I'd rather not. Maybe a headcracker, then? Or a lava streamer? All of that sounds rather... violent. Violent? You probably mean easily flammable, sweetie. You look like you could use some more hair on your chest. Thank you so much. I will drink it later if I intend to, uh, kill myself. Do you know anything about the machine at the Wind Fountain Square? Yes, I know of it. I stay away from it, and it stays away from me. Why? How can I explain this to you? Listen, sweetie. At a certain point, you start to turn a blind eye to things. What do you mean? I mean, I did things that you never could imagine. Not even in your wildest dreams. You've probably seen a lot of interesting things. Oh, you bet. I used to do things. Bad things. How bad? Talking about it alone would be reason enough to turn me into stone. That bad? Well, I found them rather amusing. But the Bazillions have a different take on the matter. Do I want to know? Believe me, you want to. I can't imagine something that bad. Oh, no? Well, then let me help you out. He said we were shrouded. But his wife found out about it. Oh my god, and you wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> and he said, well, that dog, that bastard. <laughs> but his cousin didn't have a clue. And then she came over. No. And then they went over. <laughs> and then the dogs. <laughs> really? And that's how I became the head of the book club. Oh my. God.
What was your last sin? Oh, funny you're asking about it. So, then he came over to the took off my bow and garters. But that's... You wouldn't believe. <laughs> and then over there. But there are laws against that. For a reason. So you realize it was immoral? Oh, yes. It was one of the best things I've ever done. Is it a sin if I like a girl, although she's a wanted criminal? Oh, no. Most men love danger. It would be a sin if you... But I think she would even like it. I think... I want to go back to the monastery. Um, I would prefer to talk about something else. Bye. Take care, sweetie. Fish oil as lubricant. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Hang on, old man. Oh, Malleus, if I'd have known what you're hiding under that robe. What then, Audley? I may have let you in on a special offer. This mint has the shape of a coin. Hey, there's no bubble gum in here. These are marbles. Too bad. Marbles don't taste half as good as bubblegum, and they give you toothache. Is it true what they say about you guys? Uh, it depends. What do they say? Well, they say that you've never had a woman, and that given the chance, you take practically anything and everything you can get. That's true. 